How's it going? This is Fox back again for Sound Design Tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make my interpretation of a hard style lead using X for Records Serum. This is the sound we're going to be making today. There you have it. Really wide, full sounding hard style lead. Um, it's not my style of music. Um, I always wanted to try and make one to the best of my ability. Um, I did one with a virus a little while ago, didn't get really good feedback. I understand why. Yeah, I was lacking the movement that we've got on the fine tune of both oscillator A and B using LFO1. Um, that's wobbling the fine tune, wobbling the pitch really quick, making it sound a lot wider than just a standard detuned saw wave. Pretty good, really happy with it. This patch is going to be going in my Serum sound set, which is imminent, uh, a week max, and it should be on the way. Um, but yeah, for now, I'll switch to scene two, so you can see everything a bit better. Uh, I'm going to initialize this preset, and I'm going to show you how I made it. So, oscillator A and B, uh, I'll just show you quickly I'll just show you quickly these notes I've got in a MIDI clip. Um, they're based around the C4, A3, sorry, is the main note, and then the lower notes are A2. So if you want to make this exactly, they're the notes that you're going to want to be playing them in. Um, so yeah, oscillator A. I didn't change the octave or anything like that. All I did was kept it on a saw wave. I gave it nine voices of unison. Kept the uh, detune where it is as standard. Uh, the blend knob I kept where it comes as standard. The phase for this one I pulled left to around about 60. It's going to start at a different point to oscillate a B. Oscillate a B is a sawtooth again. Keep this on the same octave also. This one is going to have eight voices of unison. The detune starting point for this is slightly less than the first one. The phase for this one we're going to do right to around 297 degrees, so they're starting at different points. Uh, for the main amp envelope, um, which controls the master volume of the synth, all I did was give the notes a tiny bit of release, 150 milliseconds. So yeah, still quite static at the minute, it just sounds like a detuned saw wave. The sub oscillator, I used another saw wave, I pitched this one up one octave. And the level I had where it comes as standard. I lied, pull it down to about 35%. Um, when you detune saw waves, you get a lot of noise in regards to a lot of aliasing. It sort of fills up a lot of the spectrum. I wanted it even more. I was listening to some hard style mixes on YouTube earlier, and they are all... Whether they got white noise behind them or not, I don't know. It certainly sounds like it to me. But I switched it on. I used this accumulated hum 1, which is where it comes as standard, and I boosted the level to around 40%. Just changed the pitch slightly, just increased it a little bit. Still quite static at the minute. Um, we'll apply the effects and the filter and then we'll set that LFO up right at the end just to uh, show you what, what a difference it makes. Um, one thing I will do quickly, we go into the matrix section, set the source for, what was it, velocity, destination, global, amp, put it on full. This means now in Ableton at least, when you change the velocity of notes inside your MIDI clip, it is going to reflect to the volume coming out of your synth. If you don't do that, you're not going to hear the volume take any effect. As you can see, these lower notes are just an octave down. They're barely audible, but it's just helping widen the sound up a little bit. 
If I hold like these and then increase the volume, you should be able to hear the difference. Taking up a lot more of the spectrum than I wanted, so yeah. Um, velocity, we have done. So yeah, we might as well go set the filter up now. All I did was... I chose a high pass filter in the normal section, a high 18, so it's quite a steep curve. The cut off, I pulled down to around 140 hertz, just getting rid of any of the real lows, 140, 200 hertz, something like that will be fine. Drive, around to about 35%, fat, 15%, the mix on full. This all helps. This all helps just boost the overall volume of the patch, really. Whilst getting rid of any of the unwanted lows that you get when you're making this sort of lead. You need to make sure that A, B, the noise and the sub all go into the filter so they're all being affected by the filter. To do that, just click all four of them knobs. Okay, we're going to the effects section now. Um, one neat little trick I do to make any sound sound wider is put a delay on it, uncheck the BPM, and set the rate to really fast. I add it all the way down as low as I can go, left and right. That means it's going to take the incoming audio signal and repeat it very, very quickly, almost to the point where you can't hear it. It just makes the sound sound wider. It's almost like a chorus. Um, I did use the little EQ just to get rid of the lows again, anything from around 2000 hertz, the Q around 2.4, 2.5. Set it on ping pong, uh, kept the mix where it comes as standard. Subtle difference, but it does make a difference. Um, then I chose the reverb. You want them in this order, delay them reverb. Always delay them reverb. Reverb size, 15%, no pre-delay. Tiny bit of low cut again, just getting rid of any, you don't want to reverb too much of the lows in a patch, it can cause you trouble when you're mixing later on. Damping, where it comes as standard, high cut on zero. Width all the way back to about 26% and the mix quite high for the reverb. I'll turn the reverb off and then I'll turn it on so you can hear the difference. Makes a hell of a difference. Reverb on a lead like this, I always do. Well, I certainly always do a, a reverb on my Supersaw leads when I'm making trance. This is no different. The only other effect is going to be an EQ. I, I use this as an EQ, mainly just to get rid of what I don't want. Um, I push the low, I set it to a low high pass and a low pass. So we're just going to get rid of the high bits that we don't want and the low bits. Frequency for the high pass side at 300 hertz. Q around to about 42%, so it's definitely not boosting anything, and the gain dead center. Frequency for the high pass, I had around 1300 hertz. Anything after about 30, anything after about 1400 hertz, you're not really going to be able to hear anyway. Q again, 47%, so it's definitely not boosting anything, and the gain down about minus 8 dB. I'll turn the EQ on and off again so you can hear what difference it makes. It's a real good EQ actually, this one inside Serum. Just helps tame the patch before it goes out into your door. Um, I generally do my EQ in inside the door afterwards if I was making patches myself, but I really thought it needed just to tame those highs and again just to ensure that none of those lows were coming through after they were being reverbed. So yeah, apart from a bit of modulation with an LFO and some further modulation in the matrix section, that's the patch done. Right now, this is how we turn it into uh, a hard style lead rather than just a super saw lead. We are going to use LFO 1. We're going to make sure the trigger mode is set to off. Uh, we're going to uncheck the BP and the anchor mode, set it to a triplet rate, 
and we're going to get the rate really fast. Um, we'll assign the destinations first actually and then I'll play with the rate so you can hear what it's doing. We want this LFO to modulate the pitch of both oscillator A and B and we want it to do it via the fine box. So drag it, drop it on the fine box. Um, not all the way, it was a bit too severe so drag it, bring it back. So the left blue line is just above the eye. When you leave it like that, uh, the rate on 6.5 Hz where it comes as standard, you can actually hear the modulation, modulating the pitch up and down. Sounds like a ghost horror sort of soundtrack thing. As we increase the rate to the point where we're hardly going to hear it, it's going to make the sound sound massive. Um, rise, delay and smooth. I did have the smooth one actually, around about 25%. All we can do now is increase the rate so you can hear what difference it has. That's where I had it, around 74.7 hertz. It's just to the point where you can't hear it, it just wobbling it that fast, it just makes the, make, it's like detuning it after it's been detuned. It's a neat little trick. If I'm honest, I saw it on another video, some chap made a, a patch with, I think it was with Diva, and he used the same trick. Neat little trick, simple, once you know it. Apply an LFO to the fine pitch, modulate it really fast. Makes a hell of a difference. As I say, it turns it into a hard style lead rather than just a super sore trance lead. So yeah, in the matrix section now, um, the only other modulation destination I've got is I set the mod wheel to oscillator A detune, oscillator B unison detune, and I set these positive. Only ever so slightly, about plus four, plus five on each one. Bitch, bit fiddly. I wish there was a way you could enter the data via a number. Yeah, and uh, click on these both once so that the modulation is only only going one way. It's unipolar. We don't want it to swing the detune plus five and negative five. It just wants it to be plus five one way. So yeah, when the mod wheel is negative, this is what it sounds like. And then I'll increase the mod wheel. It's just going to increase the amount of detune on these two knobs to make it sound even even wider and even bigger. Show you what happens if we give it too much in this box. Five or six is perfect, just give you a chance to make it sound a bit more screechy. Some of the tracks I listened to in that mix were really, really quite screechy, really, really heavily detuned. So, yeah, that is it. The velocity, just so your MIDI, just so these little boxes work in your MIDI notes inside your door. Two LFOs modulating the fine pitch and a mod wheel just to give you a little bit, bit of extra control when with the detune amount. But yeah, that's it. I mean, I tried a bit of distortion. I think I had a compressor and a flander on it at one point. Didn't need it. Um, really happy with it how it came out. Just increase the pitch of oscillator 1 by 1 octave there, just to show you what a difference it makes if you spread them out even more. So we've got 0 octave and then the sub and oscillator A uh, an octave higher. Really easy to do. playing with a pitch mod there that's automatically mod uh, automatically set up but yeah that's it um, probably sounds better actually there with them these spread an octave apart I mean you can do it to taste it's entirely up to you but yeah that is it that is my take on a hard style lead using extra records serum as I say I'm gonna be putting this patch in my EDM sound bank due to drop anytime soon I'll put a link in the description when it's done where you can grab that um, yeah for now that's it if you want to check me out doing my streams, you need to subscribe to my Facebook or Google Plus page. It's Sound Design Tutorials, 
or tweet me at Sound Design Tuts. That's T U T S. Uh, any requests or anything, get in touch. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.